and welcome to this episode of my alphabet of hair. The letter today is the letter N and don't worry it's not going to be N for all things Neil. I'm actually taking a look at all things new or all hair things new I should say. In this episode what I'm going to do first off is run through all the new hair trends for men and women for autumn winter 19. Trends move super fast these days, so I've picked what I consider the most popular ones that I think will catch on. And secondly, because these days we're bombarded with constant consumerism, whether it be as you're walking down the street or online, I've chosen products, whether they be shampoos, conditioners, styling products or heat tools, that I consider to be the best pick of the current bunch. Let's face it, who doesn't love a new gadget or product? Oh, and by the way, when I get to the products, I just want to let you know that this is not me doing an unboxing video, which I've been paid for. I'll leave that to the bloggers and the influencers. This is just me telling you the great new products and tools that I've genuinely discovered recently and that I like. So let's begin with looking at the new hair trends. Embellishing and adornment is still high on the list, with hair clips, barrettes, hair slides and headbands still featuring at fashion weeks around the globe. Bauman, Chanel, Paco Rabanne, Simone Rocha and Versace all featured adornments of some description and later I'll be introducing you to an old friend of mine's new hair accessories which I've actually found and love. Centre partings are back with the vengeance, whether it be hair down or tied up and the textures are varied too at the autumn into fashion shows. Christopher Kane, it was sleek and flat. 70s disco hair popped up amongst this centre parting fiesta. In the Halpen show there were big waves as there was waves and frizz in the Michael Kors show and at Philip Lim they went full on crimp. Prada also had centre partings but they were either tied back or in two plaits which we'll come to in a minute. Low ponytails made a comeback this season especially at the show which is the epitome of American classic Ralph Lauren. The hair was blow-dried sleek and glossy as it was at Victoria Beckham then tied into a low ponytail. Oscar de la Renta also went for the low ponytail but with soft waves in the tail and finished it off with a velvet bow. Traditional simple plaits are back also and I love calling them plaits instead of braids as that feels more British to me. Prada had two plaits going on in very very long hair. Tory Burch and Tom Brown had the simple down the back plait and also micro plaits were peeping through this season as seen at Preen and Bora Aksu in London. Double cornrows and multiples of are featuring a lot within black afro hair which I love as are the short crops and mini afros. These looks are being seen on models are due to Kesh, Carly Lois, Aaliyah Hydes and Hiandra Martinez. Colour genius Josh Wood brought back the pastel hair colours in a new way at the Mary Catranzo show where he blurred out sections of colour for a more dreamy finish. I recently worked on a shoot with Josh where he incorporated these colours although he took them a little bolder in places and they were absolutely beautiful. And as for the boys, well let's see. In men's hair we're going extremes. It's either super long or a skinhead faded buzz cut. Longer hair has been making a comeback over the last few seasons for men with bobs making a showing and those that chose to grow it have just carried on and left it to grow and grow. Models Tristan Valentino, Dylan Christensen and Marco Torri are all going for this and wearing it so well even with sporty 70s headbands as seen at the Iceberg Show in Milan. The buzz cuts are still being tapered so there's a barbaresque feel to them with the sides fading out to nothing. Model Zhu Min's hair is also looking pretty great right now too as he's gone for the full on buzz cut. The barbershop mid fade with length on the top is still pretty popular right now as is the loose quiff and the longer textured hair and of course the cherub curls as seen on model Francisco Henriquez are also popular. With afro hair we're seeing some length on the top with side and back fades and the length is being sponge curled to create mini twists in the hair and more of that later too as I've discovered a new tool from the US for creating soft twist curls in afro hair. And so that's the hair trend sorted, let's look at products and tools. First I'll show you the great new wet products I've come across. Wet products are what's more commonly known as shampoos, conditioners and styling products. Now these are two products from Shampoo, which is actually pronounced Sharpaw, and it's a British based brand taking inspiration from its founder's Indian heritage. The name Sharpaw comes from the Sanskrit origin of the word shampoo and describes the practice of cleansing and massaging the scalp and hair. 
The range respects the Indian roots of hair care and the desire for a holistic approach using active botanical sand and the science of trichology, with vegan credentials and synthetic free formulas wrapped up in its stylish packaging. These shampoos and conditioners actually come in three ranges. There's the Vata, which is for dry, difficult or damaged hair. There's the Pitta, which is for restorative, I think that's how you say it, care, which is for fine or thinning hair. And the Kappa, which is care for oily or thick hair. Now, I got my friend and beauty junkie, Alison Yao, to try out the products for me, as she has past shoulder length Asian hair, which was bleach blonde and is now half grown out. And here's her verdict. Alison's had a complicated relationship with her hair and it can be a bit stubborn like her and those are her words not mine if she's listening and it does what it wants to do. She's had good times with it where it's behaved and acted accordingly but after a whole lot of bleach and dye and heat styling it's honestly been a bit too frazzled to do anything with besides tie it up in a bun and wear a couple of earrings. I suggested that she try shampoo and their Vata range and she had high hopes based on my recommendations. So here are her thoughts. First impressions were good. The packaging is cool, sleek and modern and would look great in any bathroom. Maybe a little bit superficial, but nice packaging is always a bonus to me. That being said, I found the practical aspect of the packaging a little bit difficult. The shampoo is a bit hard to get out since the sides aren't very easy to squeeze, but once out, a little goes a long way and they do suggest to only use a small amount. And it lathers nicely to thoroughly cleanse hair. And although the conditioner has a pump, which makes it easier to get the product out, it does come out in small amounts. So Alice intended to hit the pump hard a few times to get a good amount out. Minor grips aside, once dried, she said her hair felt a lot more nourished and healthier and a few weeks on, she's still loving using this duo and has definitely, it's definitely helped improve the texture of her hair from crispy tumbleweed, which are her words, to actual human hair. The proof is in the touch. She said she can actually run her hands through her hair now and it honestly feels great as a result. And her words are, I've now been wearing my hair down more and have stepped away from the tight bun and those big old earrings. So let's take a quick look at what shampoo has in its ingredients. It's a 98% natural shampoo formula, mild enough for every day. And it contains king coconut and amala fruit oil, rich in vitamin C to fright free radical damage and lock moisture into the hair. It's scented with a blend of oils, including jasmine absolute, Australian sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla absolute, cedarwood, geranium, and palmarosa, which gives it a spa-like scent. The shampoo is £18 for 260ml and the conditioner is £20 for 260ml and also comes in small 50ml travel sizes. The website is along the bottom of the screen right now and I would highly recommend these products and also if you love a good scent they have an amazing smell. I've recently been introduced to the Biolage range, which is part of the Matrix products family and owned by L'Oreal. The range consists of two sublines known as Core and Raw. After being available in the US for some time, the range is now here in the UK and both lines are expanding fast. The Core line is all your basic hair needs and the Raw line is 90% natural origin formulas and 90% biogradable packaging. Raw styling range encompasses nature's powerful ingredients to deliver maximum product performance. Lemon for body and lift, matcha green tea for a clean feel, lavender for frizz control, cacao butter for softness and honey and oat for suppleness. And all the ingredients are derived from nature and kind to the earth, which I know is really popular right now. I've been using their frizz control spray and the curl defining styling butter with cacao butter and my hair loves it. So I'm a big fan. So the Biolage all-in-one coconut infusion is the first new product that I want to tell you about. This is a multi-benefit spray for all hair types and all needs and is part of the core range. It's anti-frizz detangles and is also a heat protectant, protectant while strengthening hair at the same time and can be used on straight, wavy, curly, colour treated and normal hair. Applied to wet hair and it can be used daily. You can also apply this overnight so that your hair can feed on it whilst you're sleeping. The results are great because we've been testing it on models and they love it and it retails for £14.71. Next is the new Colourlast Purple Shampoo with Fig and Orchid. Again, part of the core range, it's a daily shampoo for reducing yellow and brassiness on blonde hair. 
It has purple pigments to neutralise brass tones with orchid to moisturise and soothe and fig to protect from radical damage. And it's cleansing and strengthening for blonde hair. It's also vegan and free of parabens. I tried it on a model at work the other day and we both instantly noticed a difference in the change of shade within her bleach blonde hair. And we loved it. This is retailing for £15.85. Finally, by a large, and I'm going to try and grab these three all together, are releasing, oh, I've just dropped one, <laughs> are releasing three treatment packs this month. Have I got those the right way around? Colour Last, Hydra Source and Smooth Proof. Now, I actually went to a launch for Bio Last and we tried these out and they were great. So with Colour Last, which is this one, you apply after shampoo and on towel dried hair, you leave on for three minutes, then rinse it off. It's vegan and over 85% biodegradable, concentrated in plant-based emollients, and it contains orchid, known for its restorative, restorative, there's that word again, and protective properties, and apricot seed, which is recognised for being protein and antioxidant rich. Orchid is also known to help colour treated hair retain moisture and apricot seed with vitamin K and E is thought to help strengthen the hair's follicle. So basically your colour is protected and your hair feels healthy and looks shinier and more vibrant with fade proof colour protection after about four uses. Next is Hydrosource, and luckily I've got them in the right order of my hands. You apply this in the most sensitised dehydrated areas to help replenish moisture, also at the scalp. It's vegan again and it's over 85% biodegradable and concentrated in plant-based emollients. This deep conditioning treatment comes with aloe, which helps restore your hair's elasticity, and spirulina, which is known for its strengthening properties and adding shine. Their tests at Bylar show that hair is three times more moisturised, two times more nourished, and 70% less prone to breakage after use. And finally, Smooth Proof which tests show leaves hair eight times smoother and 88% more nourished and two times stronger. Now this one contains camellia, which strengthens and conditions and castor oils, which help to lock in moisture. This treatment gives intense smoothness and manageability. And again, it's vegan and over 85% biodegradable. This one is the perfect frizz control. Now these three treatments, let me just pick them all up again from Biolage are retailing at £14 each. And a thing is coming below on the screen where it's available from. And finally, on the products front, our friends at Redkin have some new products out too, which I just recently got sent. I really like Redkin products and was keen to try these out. They've just released the Frizz Dismiss Instant Deflate. Now this is an oil in serum and comes in a pump bottle and it's suitable for all hair types and it controls the effect of humidity whilst reducing volume, puffiness and frizz. It contains the popular Babasu oil originating from the Amazon, which moisturises hair, but is more lightweight than coconut oil and is suspended in a silicon based serum. Now I've tested this on somebody I know with very curly, frizzy, long hair. And my findings are that it's a lightish oil and it definitely controls the frizz and feels like it does what it says. Although I wouldn't personally suggest to use it on finer hair with the same texture as I found it that it might be a tad too heavy for that hair type. But the retail price is 29 pounds and it's very nice. Also smells good. So quick wipe of the hands. And the other new Redkin product is the Frizz Dismiss Anti-Static Oil Mist. Now this is lighter than the oil in serum and comes in a spray form. My hands are a bit greasy. It contains some protection and does have a small amount of silicone. But on trying it, I found it to be super light and the hair tends to absorb it more than the oil in serum. It contains a small amount of Arbinia olifera, I think is how you say it, which is also derived from the Babasu palm. Now this also retails at £25. We liked these two products at Moody HQ, but you need to determine your hair type as to which will be better for you. So I would say if your hair's finer, I'd go for the mist. Um, and both of these are available through Salon Stockists and online. Before I move on to hair accessories, I quickly want to show you all two travel kits that I've recently been sent and I love. This great little travel kit I was sent from, it looks like Hokaran, and it's pronounced Akaran, which I believe is how you say it, and it means I love you in French Celtic language. 
There are actually nine travel size products in the whole range, which is plant-based and made in Brittany. Each kit comes with three products. Now, as you're probably aware, cannabis oil and the use of it has become very popular. And this range's hero ingredient is cannabis sativa, known for its high antioxidant levels and rich omegas, but without the THC, I believe. Now, my particular travel kit that I was sent isn't hair related as such, but it does contain an on the go hair, beard and body shower gel, which is perfect for me and us men who like to keep it simple. It retails at 19 euro, which at today's rate of exchange as we're filming is approximately £17.50. My kit also came with the Morning Miracle Eye Contour, retailing at 24 90 euros which converts to approximately 22 pound 90 at today's rate and it's basically a contour cream to give you no dark circles and no puffiness which is a must for me these days and i love it now finally there's a little bike passing by i got the supernatural soap which retails at 12 euro, which converts to approximately 11 pounds at today's exchange rate. Now this contains cannabis oil, which is great for dry, sensitive skin. And what I love about these products is that the scents smell very subtle and natural. Plus it's the perfect overnight travel kit because of the size. All I would say though, is that you may have to pack a separate conditioner for your hair if it's a little longer. And cut to, talking of, this other great little hair travel kit by, I think it's Uka. Now, Kiho Watanabe is a world-renowned Japanese nail artist with six salons in Tokyo. And she created the Uka nail oil and a line of hair and body care to help women and men in today's busy world pamper themselves just as they would feel as if they were in one of her luxurious spas. Quite a nice idea. Uka is dedicated to using natural and organic, organic ingredients to enhance and bring an added joy to everyday beauty routines. Uka as a word actually means emergence in Japanese and this nighty night travel trio is great. So let's just open it up. Um, so first you get the, um, hang on, I'm going to try and do it in the right order. So you get the scalp cleanser deep and light. This is 50 ml. Then you get the shampoo, which is also 50 ml. And then you get the nighty night hair treatment, which is also 50 ml. Now the main component of these products is sandalwood, which conveys rich and romantically appealing woody notes and a touch of elegance added by a natural damask rose water. It's a scent that recalls a tranquil night that's supposed to make it feel like it hugs you gently before you go to sleep. I don't know whether it does that, but anyway. This retail, this kit retails at £49 and is available to order online at Harrods in London or on the Der Zeitgeist website coming up below and at Peach and Lily in the US. And I have to say they smell divine and I've used them and I really like them. Perfect for travel. Okay, so let's move on to hair accessories. I love an accessory and I want to introduce you to a small little range made by an old friend of mine called Oriel Melville. Oriel's range is called Get A Grip and is only available online through her Instagram at the moment. Her Instagram account and details will be along the bottom of the screen the whole time I'm talking about these. FYI, her new website will launch at the beginning of September this year. Now, what's great about these is that not only are they super cute, but they're completely affordable too. Her core products, which I'm actually going to grab a couple and show you, are available. They So she does like the uh, mirrored lip clip. So there's one in gold, which is great. And then there's a silver one too. And then there is also the Perspex lip clip. And then she does these coloured barrettes. She also does uh, Swarovski covered little clips as well, like these. Um, and this little one here. And they are ranging from anything from £5 through to £8.50. And by the way, she's currently working on a jumbo range of large barrettes in bright colours and in various finishes. So like matte, metallic and bright. And these will be about 90 millimetres in size. Meanwhile, I recently met up with Oriel and she gave me these wonderful new neon clips, which I loved and so wanted to tell you about them. 
So go check her out on Instagram for more details. And I'm gonna show you these right now. Oop. So they come in these little boxes. This is the ears, she calls this the Mickey ears, which I love. Obviously, I think we know where that's come from. Um, but in this sort of neon perspex. And then she also has the barrettes that she makes. And they are coming in the neon perspex too. These are the pink ones that I've got here. So yeah, there's gonna be more colors and like I say, more sizes. Um, great product. I also wanted to let you know about the new products from our friends at Invisibubble, people who make these little buggers. Now, these are great hair accessories that are kind to the hair, so they're like hair ties if anybody doesn't know about them. I know some people aren't so keen, but I've seen a lot of girls wear them, and you know what? They're really kind to your hair. Um, if you're unsure, go and check them out because they have lots of different ranges and different shapes and sizes, and I'm sure there's something for you. So their first new product is called the Bun Star which comes in this little box. And basically you twist it clockwise into the hair until the bun sits firmly and securely. The special shape also ensures a strong hold without pulling and tugging on the hair. Impressions are avoided and a high wearing comfort is guaranteed. So basically no marks on the hair and it's comfortable. The other new product from Invisibubble is the waver. And this comes in this little box and it's a three dimensional wave shape, a little bit like the old traditional hair grips, um, but it guarantees a strong and at the same time hair preserving hold. So the hair is simply compressed and held in the uniform cavities, which is these little bits here, and fixed. Any impressions are avoided, so no marks on the hair and they're super comfortable. These come in clear, or black and retail at five pounds at all leading stockists. And as for the Bun Star, that is five ninety nine again at all leading invisible stockists. Okay, so let's move on to electricals. I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, two new products that I have to talk about are the following. First is GHD's Oracle. We just recorded this a minute ago and I made a mistake. It uses patented breakthrough curl zone technology to create curls easier than ever before. And combining the unique U-shape styling power of heat and setting effect of cooling, which is all in here, you can create a vast variety of curls. Put it upside down. Now I had to go to GHDHQ, I couldn't say that earlier, that's why we had to stop, and be shown how to use this. And at first I wondered why they wanted me to go in, but when they showed me how it works, I then understood. Oracle is exclusively available to purchase in the UK at Rush Salons, as GHD wanted to make sure fully trained experts show you, the consumer, exactly how to use the latest curling technology created by them. You can produce an array of different curls and waves from loose and beachy to tighter, more uniformed waves. But I will say my opinion, I think it only really works on longer hair from bob length downwards. It is a clever new tool though, however, and it's easy to use once you know how. Now, I would actually suggest to check out their how-to video with their great ambassador hairstylist, Adam Reed. And what you do is you go to the GHD website, which is seen here below, and in the menu, click on hair curlers and choose the Oracle. So second on my electoral recommendations is the Gamma Pew Silent Relax Hairdryer. Pew means plus in English. Now, as you know, Dyson claim that their hairdryer is much quieter than a regular dryer, and I'll give them their dues, their dryer is quiet. And whilst I do like the Dyson, I still stick to my word that I think it's uber expensive if you don't happen to have a spare 300 quid. There are many other professional dryers on the market that are great at their job of drying hair efficiently and effectively. And I know for a fact that some of the top professional brands are working on quieter versions to launch in the future. But the first one I've been sent is by Gamma Pew. This is an Italian family led business and it's a great business with a large factory and research centre based in San Martino, Italy. Gamma Pew refuse to use anything other than Italian components in their dryers. And I've always been a big fan of Italian made dryers for many years, especially as the Italians are known as the king of the blow dry. So I've always believed they make the best dryers, which is probably true. Gamma Pew have released this relaxed silent dryer with technology that makes this professional dryer more silent without affecting its high performance. The aerodynamic course of the air combined with the turbofan 
means the noise has been reduced to just 64 decibels. Now, a regular dryer can be from 75 to 85 decibels. This dryer is also pretty lightweight, looks chic and professional, and for most hairdressers, I think this hairdryer is perfect, but it's also great for consumers too. Dyson won't release the actual level of decibels for their dryer, but here at Moody HQ, we've done some online research, and according to the website Moo Review, and no, that has nothing to do with me, an article they posted said the following, Whilst the dryer is itself quieter, it does emit a high-pitched sound, and some protesters appeared to hear it more than others. Whilst they could hardly hear the supersonic when it was turned on, others complained that it was comparatively noisy. Now, this might be because the noise given off by the digital motor found inside the dryer is much higher pitched than a traditional one, and only notable, noticeable to those with sensitive hearing. Measuring the decibels, which is the unit of how loud it is, we, they were able to get 79 decibels at a distance of 6 inches. Now that is actually higher than this one. So the Dyson is definitely on the lower end of noise, but does that mean you can have a normal conversation over this hairdryer in the real world? Well, let's quickly do my own test here right now. Okay, so here we are at the Moody Lab. We haven't really moved, but anyway, this is the Gamma Pew Relax Silent Dryer. Turn it on. Give it a few seconds. This is the Dyson. Give it a few seconds. Now, from our discoveries here, which by the way, we've been listening to this before we started filming this. This dryer has a lower frequency, which means the noise is lower. Now, the Dyson definitely has a higher frequency, which means the pitch of it is much higher. Now, to the human ear, that's not necessarily as loud as the lower pitch one. But if you've got a dog, they might not like this. However, I'd say to the ear, you may think that this is a little quieter than this. I don't think there's a huge amount in it. And definitely the lower frequency is what makes this sound. They just sound different. So basically, when it comes to it, this has lower decibels than this one. So go figure, you figure it out for yourselves. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you the price. So the Gamma Pew hairdryer, this retails at $95.95 and comes in different colours, but there is also a limited edition rose gold version, which is £125, and that is available um, on the website coming up below. And also, I've got to tell you that the Oracle, which is only available from Rush Hair Salons in the UK, is uh, retailing at £175. And finally, to finish this video off something or a product that I mentioned earlier, I wanted to show you the Twist It Up comb. Now, another hairstylist told me about this, and as far as I know, it's still only officially available in the US. I actually ordered mine online at Amazon.com, and they did deliver here to me in the UK. It's available on a couple of other US sites too, which deliver to the UK, one of them being the House of Beauty. Now, this was featured on the US TV version of Dragon's Den, known as Shark Tank. This miniature looking tennis racket is a groundbreaking and high quality styling tool for urban hair. It's a great way to twist afro hair besides the curl sponge. And they claim that it's actually better than the curl sponge. Each comb is made with a durable, low resistant polycarbonate frame and it won't bend or break under pressure. The center of each comb is a stainless steel weave pattern that is easy to clean. Now this unique patented technique and design can only be found on the authentic Twist It Up styling combs. The stainless steel weave penetrates the hair by grabbing the roots as you rotate the comb. I'm gonna do it on my hair, although it's probably not quite the right texture. This unique process causes the hair to form perfect, long lasting, defining coils on Afro hair. Oh, and by the way, not only does it fit in your pocket, but every purchase helps the homeless. And that's it for the new new. See you on the next episode. If you like this video and want to see more, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is here. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.